Defending Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. Hey there. You should get inside the city. Head on inside. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Got a question? Should talk to Sullivan. You're Sullivan, right? You gotta keep watch on the gate. Just through the gate and up the stairs. Hey. Oh. Right there. I ain't the talking type. Hey, I wait there. Is. Come on. Well, another is already in the works. Hey. Uh. Codsworth. Uh. Your thoughts? The past, the present, and the future walked into a bar. It was tense. That's all. All right, then. I ain't the talking type. Heads up. Something Hold position. Need, Stay there. Of course. Moving I'm... out. Right so. Over here. My pleasure. Heads up. Wow. Hey, Cotsworth. Yes? How do you think things are? I'm afraid that's a bit of an unknown, Martha. You're no longer the woman I knew who went into that vault 200 years ago. Nothing else for now. All right, then. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. 
you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. A little flecks of blood, give it a personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. Hi. You there. Talk some sense into my net with son. McDonough's secretary, is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You just said no one could tell the difference, Ma. She don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. Snip, snip, and bam, you're beautiful. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, shortcuts, braids, layering. Eh, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. That'd be great. You're gonna look great. Sit down. Haircuts, right here. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your... Get your copy of the public. We expose the truth behind the Institute. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night, and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? Piper. Holding up, Lou? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you 
are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, Seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it... it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that, that you'll see them again or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next.